You know what a cow looks like, right? Four legs, horns, black and white. They're uniform, right? All the same? Wrong! Cows can actually have just as much variety as humans, if not more. Some are truly one of a kind. These are the most unique cows in the world. Number 15. Belgian Blue Cow if you're out there looking for the stereotypical cow, look no further than the Holstein Frisian. While other breeds might have their own unique look, the Holstein Frisian looks exactly like the kind of cow you see in cartoons. Why is that my frame of reference? That's for my therapist to figure out. The Holstein Frisian is a breed of dairy cattle, currently recognized as the world's highest production dairy animal. No other breed of cattle produces as much milk in so many regions of the world. These animals Animals are known to average around 22,530 pounds of milk every single year. That's almost as heavy as a cruise ship anchor or nearly twice the weight of a T-Rex. Yes, I did just compare a cow's milk to an extinct dinosaur's weight, and I do not regret it. The Holstein Frisian is basically the exact image of what a cow is, in both appearance and use. No other cow gives the world so much milk, making this also one of the most important breeds of cattle out there in the world. Raise your glass of milk to the OG, to the cartoon cow. I, I mean the Holstein. Uh, forget it. To the cartoon cow. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Texas Longhorn Cow. Whether or not you've actually seen one, you'll undoubtedly know what the Texas Longhorn is. This Texas cow has long horns, and that's about it. But it's also one of the most iconic cattle in the world, thanks to that immediately recognizable shape. Just don't get too close. The Texas Longhorns are believed to be descendants of the first cattle brought to the New World by Christopher Columbus and the Spanish colonists. Although until 23andMe decided to do a cow-specific version of their ancestry kids, we may never know for sure. That said, their history is of little concern to their owners, who have their eyes on the prize, world records. Across the board, Texas Longhorn owners tend to focus more on breaking the world record for the biggest horn gap. The current record is an impressive 129.5 inches held by Longhorn M. Arrow Cha-Ching. The Cha-Ching, I presume, refers to the sound of money pouring in as people come to visit the world record holder. Given its long history and its iconic appearance, the Texas Longhorn more than earns a place on our list. No other cattle looks like this. No other has a history like it, and honestly, no other cattle could pull off being called Cha-Ching. Number 13. Ankle Wachusi Cow if we're going to talk horned cattle, it would be a sin to miss out on the Ankle Watusi. This particular breed has grown in popularity over the past few decades, presumably because people enjoy seeing their aesthetically pleasing horns. That's my assumption anyway, nobody returned my calls when I asked. The Ankle Watusi is an American cattle of African descent. In the early 20th century, they were brought to Germany from Africa as zoo specimens before being shipped worldwide. By 2015, 80% of the world's Anko Watusi were living in the United States. But enough about that. You want to know about the horns? The horns are obviously unusually large, with the largest circumference ever recorded in a cattle breed. The record holder for largest horns is currently held by a bull with a horn circumference of 40.7 inches and a steer with horns measuring 37.50 inches. But you know, size isn't everything, right? The Anko Watusi is an iconic breed of cattle, thanks to those unique horns, and it's pretty clear why so many farmers like them. I mean, if you have an animal that can break world records, you might want to take care of them. Especially if they have horns. One wrong move, and you will be eating through a straw. Number 12. Shorthorn Cows 
England has always had an interesting history with cows. Okay, I lied, it might not be all that interesting, but they do have a history with cows. The shorthorn cow is an English breed of cattle, for instance. So, history, look, you gotta give me a little credit here. We're talking about cows. In the late 18th century, farmers in the northeast of England began developing a new breed of cow that would be dual purpose, allowing for dairy and beef production. That didn't really work, eventually leading to two separate bloodlines known as the Beef Shorthorn and the Milking Shorthorn. Today, the Shorthorn is popular no matter the use, as its beef tends to marble well, giving it a tender quality, and the animal itself can cross with just about any breed successfully. Basically, they're just good cows. For many farmers, the Shorthorn is considered to be the best choice for high-quality beef production, owing to its unique marbling and tenderness compared to other other breeds. So I guess all we can say to this one is a big, great thanks, England. Number 11. Holstein Frisian Cows Unfortunately for, I think, all of us, the Belgian blue cow is not blue. I just wanted to protect you from all of the sore disappointment that I experienced when I discovered this. However, the Belgian blue cow is indeed one of the more unique cows grazing our fields today. Mostly because it could rip you to pieces, the Belgian blue cow is a hyper-muscled breed of cattle that resembles a professional bodybuilder. Their unique physique, an extremely lean, hyper-sculpted, and ultra-muscular look is what's known as double muscling. Thanks to genetics, the cow receives an increased number of muscle fibers, as opposed to the typical enlargement of individual muscle fibers. Hence, it looks like the rock after he finishes one of his presumably torturous workout sessions. But while the cow is visually amusing, the lack of meat on the body means the meat is not as tender as many would like. Although you just know somebody will make an argument to the contrary, the Belgian Blue is an intimidating cow, and definitely one that you don't want to tick off. With muscles like that, it could step on you and likely cause a major injury. They'd be tenderizing you. Their perfect revenge. Number 10. Dexter Cows. Any rare cow is destined to be considered a unique cow, right? That's the logic that I'm working from when I say that the Dexter cow is 100% unique. And anybody that claims otherwise, I will just choose not to hear it. The Dexter cow is the smallest of all the European cattle breeds, coming in about half the size of a standard Hereford. They were considered a rare breed until recently, though they're gradually becoming more common for people hoping to produce their own food. The newfound push for organic and non-factory produced food has led many people to adopt their own Dexter cow to combat the unhealthy and expensive supermarket produce. I sincerely apologize to all vegans who had to hear that. Anyway, these adorable little things are known to be excellent mothers and generally great cows to take care of. You have to love that about them. For its size alone, the Dexter cow could be considered one of the most unique in the world. But the fact that they can be used both for beef and milk production makes them even more appealing to potential adopters. And again, they're good mothers. Number 9. North Devon Cattle when I tell you that the Devon is an ancient breed of cattle, I want to be clear about what I mean. It's not a really old cow, it's an ancient breed of cattle, dating all the way back to the 1800s. Now that's ancient. Generally speaking, the Devon cow comes in a rich red color, often leading the cow to be nicknamed the Devon Ruby or Red Ruby. And it's exactly for that deep red color that it's so uniquely identifiable and iconic worldwide. It doesn't matter where you may see it, you know the North Devon cow when you see one. That was the Azerati. Today, these cows can be found worldwide and are primarily used for the purpose of meat production. Though they're becoming less and less popular due to the rise of other higher value breeds, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing when it comes to, you know, butchering animals. Regardless of that brief paradox, the Devon cattle continues to be a popular choice of farmers worldwide, with its natural characteristics still proving a popular choice for butchers. And let's be honest. The color is poppin'. It looks really good on her. I might actually try it myself. 
Number 8. Highland Cow Just take one look at a photo of a Highland Cow, and you probably know everything you need to know. These beloved Scottish cows are iconic for their long, shaggy coat and horns, but they should be known for a whole lot more. The Highland cow is perhaps bred to withstand more difficult conditions than any other breed, given that their natural environment is the unquestionably wet and windy Scottish Highlands. These cows have to put up with some consistently treacherous conditions, hence their appearance. That long, shaggy hair actually has two layers to help it survive against the consistent rain and wind, while the long horns help them to forage and survive in those steep mountain areas with minimal food. Basically, their unique appearance is completely functional. That was good. That was the Azerati. Helping them to thrive in an environment very few other cows conceivably would. The Highland cow is undeniably one of Scotland's finest exports, with even the Queen ordering a few cows to be kept at Balmoral Castle her Scottish estate. And for many people all over the world, these furry friends taste pretty good too. Again, I'll apologize to the vegans. Number 7. White Park Cattle As it turns out, there are quite a few rare cows to be found worldwide. In Great Britain, we have the White Park Cattle, a rare breed of horned cattle found all across the country. If you know where to look, of course, if we're going to go by the most recent reported statistics, there are around 2,000 purebred White Park cattle worldwide, making this breed one of the most scarce anywhere on the planet. That's pretty unique. While some have been exported to several countries, the White Park cow mostly lives in the United Kingdom, where it was once used for beef and milk production and drought work. Today, the cow is primarily known for its textured meat, though the small population makes them much less likely to be used as a beef production cow. I'm sure they're pretty happy about that. It can't be understated just how rare the White Park cow really is. While they may live all over the planet, it can be tough to even find one in the wild. That won't stop me, though. I'm stubborn as a White Park cow. Number 6. Irish Moiled if you were to gather up all the cows in Ireland and line them up side by side, the Irish Moiled would really stand out. So much about the breed is unique that you could likely spot it anywhere in the world, purely by looking at it. The Irish Moiled cow is one of the oldest and most distinctive breeds in all of Ireland. Not only are they pulled, or non-horned for those who may not be knowledgeable about cow terminology, but their unique mound-shaped head stands out from other breeds in Ireland. According to local legends, Legend, these cows have a significantly large stomach, larger than other breeds, to consume more poor quality food. It has that in common with many humans who boast about their poor diets with seemingly no real consequence. I am, of course, talking about myself. The Irish moiled cow may be slightly smaller than the average cow, but it's clearly one of the most unique in Ireland, if not the world. How many other cows have you ever seen with a head shaped like this and a stomach built for questionable food? I rest my case. Number 5. Troll Grey Troll Grey, Game of Thrones character or cow? Chances are you know the answer to that because we've already kind of spoiled it. But if you don't, I'll just tell you now that it's not a cow. No, no, actually it is a cow. But wouldn't it be fun if we did a twist like that? Uh, probably not. <laughs> The Troll Grey is an Australian cow, known mostly for its adorable grey appearance as well as its high-quality milk. Of all the mountain cattle breeds found in Italy, the Troll Grey has the best ratio of fat to protein, a much higher ratio than some other breeds anywhere in the world. This high-quality milk is usually used for direct consumption, or more often for the production of high-quality dairy products like cheese, butter, or yogurt. The cow can also be used for beef production, thanks to the Troll Grey's high-quality beef. If you were looking for the highest quality cow's milk in the world, the Troll Grey might be one of your best options. If you're only looking for the highest quality cow's milk in Italy, it's definitely your best option. If you're just looking for milk, there are supermarkets all over the world. What's the problem? Number 4. Tuxillertal 
Despite the name Tuxillertal is not a sharply dressed cow, actually this cow was named after merging two similar alpine breeds, the Tux and the Zillertal. These cows are unique for a bunch of reasons, but not just their slightly strange and creative name. At one time, the Tuxillertal was bred and used for cow fighting contests, which were apparently real. How exactly that worked is a question for another time, but apparently the Tuxillertal was one of the top choices for this so-called sport. In fact, for a long time, these cows were selectively bred specifically for the purpose of cow fighting as opposed to productive purposes. This has led to something of a decreased milk performance. Today, these cows are used for the purpose of beef production and occasionally cow fights, apparently, because that's still a thing in parts of the world. The Tuxillertal is one of the most unique breeds in the world, partially because it's such a big name in the little known sport of cow fighting. And I guess if you're a champion cow fighter, that makes you a pretty unique four legged friend. Number 3 Miniature Belted Galloway. You already know why this one's made the list, right? We all know that cows are not small animals, so a miniature cow immediately makes us sit up and say, moo? Okay, maybe that's just me. But other people are fascinated by this too. The miniature belted Galloway, or Belties if you're friendly, is one of the world's smallest cows. At full maturity, they never reach over 42 inches at the hip, which is pretty tiny for a four-legged animal. This breed is considered the oldest naturally hornless beef cattle anywhere in the world, and also tends to be one of the most profitable breeds of cow for farmers. That's due to how much, or should I say how little, food they consume to gain weight. Because of their smaller stature, they need less food, making it more profitable for their farmers in the long run. So the miniature Belty is obviously miniature, which makes it stand out in the sea of cows all over the world, but they're also incredibly cute and friendly as well as boasting some of the leanest, most marbled meat of any cow. I'm sorry I said that. Nobody wants to think about eating this little guy. I know that. Number 2. Custer Taylor Spritzen not a comedy name, I promise. The Puster Taylor Spritzen is a very real and very rare cow originating in northeastern Italy. While its body may look like something from a Rorschach test, this cow's unique aspects go far behind its unique appearance. The Puster Tail Spritzen is a finched, color sided cow reared in Austria, Germany, Italy, and South Africa. But what makes it truly unique is that the Puster Taylor Spritzen is one of the only 16 minor Italian cows cattle breeds of limited diffusion to be recognized and protected by the Italian Ministry of Agriculture. That means the Italian Ministry of Agriculture itself believes the cow to be so unique that it requires the kind of protection afforded to a limited few. The Puster Taylor Spritzen is also often used for milk and beef production, so I guess it all kind of links in its own special cow-based way. If the Italian Ministry of Agriculture is willing to step up and say this cow is unique and special, who am I? to argue with them. I can't speak Italian anyway, so I will just nod politely and continue to sip my milk. God bless the cows of Europe. Number 1. American Brahmin You know all about the Brahmin cow, that special cow from India named after the creator god, but what do you know about the American Brahmin? Is it just a cheap American knockoff of a successful animal from another country? Probably, but it's also pretty unique. The American Brahmin was the first beef cattle breed to be developed in the United States. Which immediately flags it as a unique and important milestone in cow culture. Cannot believe I just used those words next to one another. This cow is one of the most popular breeds for beef production and is used everywhere from Argentina to Australia. They're also one of the few cows to have an incredible resistance to insects and parasites thanks to their thick skin, allowing them to go about their business without risk of any serious infections. They also live longer than many other breeds, presumably because parasites can't kill them. 
the American Brahmin is just as worthy and unique as its Indian ancestor. The fact that it's the first breed to be developed in the United States only makes it all the more unique and worthy of celebration. So I guess the answer is yes. It's pretty much the same as the original, but Americans love it, and that's all that matters. Which of these unique cows did you like the most? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.